Hi guys, I am super excited because today is the first day of my series of Spooktober, which is basically me posting a very spooky Halloween fall related video every other day in the month of October. So overall there's going to be about 16 videos and I'm so excited. Fall is my favorite season. I freaking love October. It's my favorite month. I was actually born in October, so I'm a bit biased, but there's also Thanksgiving here in Canada at least, and there's Halloween and then Christmas. So it's literally like the light, later half of the year is my favorite time of year, and I've been wanting to do this series for such a long time, and I think this year I finally get to do it, so I'm super excited. I have also included little tidbits of information about the series in my later summer videos that were posted in September. So I will have those linked below as well. It's usually just like announcements and calendars and stuff like that. If you did want to be in the know of what kind of video is going to be posted this month, little hints here and there. I have my mug right here. It's my little jack-o'-lantern mug with a little black cat. She's cute. My pumpkin spice latte is in there. I. Uh, you know, I just put it in a festive mug to be extra festive. And yeah, I have a few things to show you here. I have been shopping for fall decor. I did not buy as much fall decor this year because I have so much from the previous years, but I did go shopping for fall decor. And before I show you the haul, I'm just gonna insert a couple clips of me shopping for all of this stuff. Alrighty, so currently I'm actually at a hotel right now because I am shooting a film in a different city. It's about three hours from Toronto, so here I am and ironically our or my hotel is literally pretty much across the street from a whole plaza full of like home scents, spare Halloween, chapters, Starbucks, basically all of my favorite things. So I'm just gonna go and check it out and let's see the fall decor that they have. I'm actually filming like an actual fall decor shop with me and haul video, but I'll include some clips from the chapters, or not the chapters, the Home Sense and Spare Halloween here. It's basically like a little house and there's a little witch outside reading because that's literally me. This is like gray and gold. It goes so well with my room. It's so cute. This is such a cute thing. <laughs> what? Found this little spoon thing. It's only $4.99. Hi guys. So we are fall shopping yes. or fall decor shopping. I don't really need to buy much. I think the few things that I am looking for, I really do want to find a garland if I can. Not a leaf garland, but like those cute little like candy corn garlands or pumpkin oh. garlands, you know? Okay. Or like maybe even lights, like pumpkin lights or something. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much like the majority of it. I've seen really cute, I don't know if we have them in Canada because we never have anything good here, but I've seen really cute pumpkin spice latte shaped candles where you can take the lid off like the lid of a pumpkin spice latte and then it's like the candle it's that really so fucking cute. cute oh my god it's so oh cute god, but like have canada sucks so like we don't we don't really know i mean <laughs> you know but we're parked outside home sense right now you can kind of see the red sign in the back those candles are supposed to be at home sense apparently that's where they were in the uk and the states um and then we're gonna go to michael's because michael's usually has a shit ton of fall decor and i haven't actually been there at all this season i have been to home sense a few times and i have gotten a few things already ready which is why I don't really have many <laughs> things to get right now um, and then Dollarama because Dollarama has really cool fall decor for really cheap and then also I just need a few things from Dollarama in general because like you mm. know the essentials we're mostly just here at home sense for the vibes we're, we really are it's mostly just to walk around and look at 
at whatever they have and then leave. Yeah, and get our steps in and then we just Yes, go. yeah, that is pretty much it. So let's just go and do it. And then at the end of this video, they're probably be all hung, all the damage that I did. <laughs> okay, bye. These gnomes are literally on a broomstick. I'm so tempted to get that, but I really don't need it. Oh, this is cute. They have a lot of like rustic looking pieces. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. You could cut yourself. You could, but that's okay. Focus, focus. I need wine to focus. This is us. If you think I'm a witch, you should see my sister. These flowers. Mm -hmm. Wow, seventeen dollars for that is not worth it. It's a little less cute. That is really pretty. I can see you getting this too. Yeah. $13. Oh, this is cute. Carve a pumpkin, wear a costume to retreat and stay up late to eat candy. Aww. See, I love these like witchy, that's us. <laughs> that's me. You're the one fucking around. <laughs> that's actually so cute. $29.99. I just don't know where I would even put that, to yeah. be honest. That's so cute, though. Wow. Or like this one. If you had a Halloween wedding, oh my God. that'd be so cute. That is adorable. Oh my God. Oh, this is so cool. Wow, this is huge. Ooh, but that's so pretty. Did they have this many last year? No. They really like bulked up this season. This is so cute. You could put like candy in here and then like other treats like in this part, right? Well, at least I know there's one girl in here. Cookie jar. Mm -hmm. They have so many signs. Do they have an it's fall y'all sign? They did last year, but it was just all right. Oh, it wasn't like the cutest. It looked, it looked like a jar. A jar? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I had that in my last video, actually. Yeah. Style is like exactly what I want, but like not, maybe not a pumpkin spice latte, but like. A haunted home is a happy home. If I had a dog, I would spoil the shit out of it with like seasonal toys. He socks. I'm a hoe for socks. The aftermath of shopping for fall, of course, is going to McDonald's and getting a pumpkin spice latte. We love it. Yeah, so that was me shopping for fall decor. Definitely have been popping in and out of home sense and stuff like that ever so often, just, you know, just to see what they have. Um, lots of stuff that I wanted to buy that I had the restraint not to buy, but I did have some, there were some items that I just couldn't resist, so I will be showing them to you now. So let me start with the stuff that I got at Dollarama. I got two things. I have this Halloween LED string lights, and they are pumpkin string lights, and I bought these for my fireplace in my living room, actually. Um, I want to make my living room and my kitchen and stuff really cozy as well because my bedroom already has so much decor So I bought that for my fireplace and then the other thing that I bought at Dollarama were these socks They're really cute You know, it's, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween it's freaking bats. I love Halloween If you know that vine um, Love a good festive sock um, I do have another pair. They're purple witch socks from American Eagle from last year and then I just bought this pair to add to my collection this year. So I'm very excited about that and now that I've shown you I can finally put them in the wash so that I can wear them all year round. All year round? I mean yeah, I mean yeah. My subconscious is just trying to tell you what I really want. I was gonna say all month long but you know. I really want to wear them all year round, so. So, the first thing that I actually got from HomeSense, I bought it in like August because I couldn't help myself, but I got this really cute tablecloth. 
So it's basically just a beige tablecloth with some sparkly orange pumpkins and I thought that this was so cute. It'll go with everything and I really wanted a tablecloth for the living room and I think that this would be so cute on Thanksgiving when we have our little Thanksgiving spread and I love taking photos because my mom always goes all out for Thanksgiving and I thought that this would be a really cute tablecloth to use. Then the next thing that I got from HomeSense was this pack of napkins and it's little gold metallic ghosts and it says here's here for the booze get it <laughs> um, and I just thought that these were super cute I love stuff like this so that I have you know really festive decor that people can use when they come over so when I have my friends over for Halloween or just in general throughout the month of October and we do a little charcuterie board and have like cookies and stuff like that they can use really festive napkins as well so got that and then the next thing that I got was this spoon holder so this is more kind of like for my mom because she's gonna be using it more but it has a little gray jack-o-lantern there and then here it says trick-or-treat on the handle and we have a little spoon holder for Christmas as well and then one we use all year round so I thought why not just get one that's spooky and would work for Halloween time so I'm very excited about this and then the next thing that I got from HomeSense is this little gnome. So he's super cute. He has a little sunflower in his hand and just a an orange little gnome's hat. And my mom actually got me this from HomeSense. And it's funny because I was talking to May the other day and May's my best friend if you didn't know. She went shopping with me. And I was talking to her about how I should have, because I have a gnome for Christmas and we call him Professor. So when we walk into our room, we're always like, Professor, we greet him. Um, and I thought, why don't I get a gnome for like every season? So this is Doctor. We're laughing because all of the gnomes are just named after the professions our parents wanted us to have, but we don't. So this is Doctor and we love him. He's really cute. And then the last thing was probably the most expensive. It is the most expensive item that I got in this haul and it was a crazy impulse purchase and I really considered returning it. Did I really consider returning it though? Like, it was just like a 2% of me being like, should I return this? And then the rest of me was like, I don't want to return this, but look at how beautiful it is. Look at how freaking beautiful this is. Like, dude, this is a witch's house, okay? There's a little witch outside here and she is reading her little spell book with her little cauldron. And then there's a jack-o'-lantern here, two jack-o'-lanterns. The house is beautiful. It has like black and orange and oh, the top is like all sparkly. A little attic here and little like creepy trees on the sides. Oh my gosh, this is just beautiful. And it lights up. I haven't put batteries in it yet, but when it lights up, you'll see the lights through these like windows that are open here and oh my God, I just think that this is so beautiful. And it was $39.99 Canadian, but it's okay. Sometimes you need to, you need to treat yourself and splurge on some Halloween decor. So here we are. <laughs> then the next thing I got wasn't really Halloween decor, but I do have a little ceramic ghost that you'll see and it has a really wide mouth so that you can put candy into it. And every year I buy candy to put into it. So I bought this 50 pack of chocolates. It's already open because I'm a fiend and I have no self-control, but it's basically just Kit Kat, Arrow, Coffee Crisp, and Smarties. And so, I'm excited to eat that. And then I also bought, oh my bad. I also bought these Jolly Rancher Misfit gummies and I've actually never had these, which is why I bought them impulsively. Um, they are gummies that have two flavors in one. So they're strawberry and lemon, blue raspberry and watermelon and green apple and cherry. So I thought that was fun and I've never tried them. So I got them because why not? <laughs> and then the next store that I went to was Bath and Body Works. So I haven't bought everything that I wanted to buy for Bath and Body Works yet because I do want to buy any fall candles. I am waiting for their buy to get to free sale because I'm not going to buy candles there full price knowing that they have such bomb sales. And they had one in August but I wasn't ready to splurge on candles at that point for fall. So I'm hoping that they have one near. I'm filming this in September so I'm hoping they have one closer to the end of September or early October or something. But I do have like my pumpkin bonfire candle here just burning and I am out of my pumpkin marshmallow and I am running through my pumpkin apple as well. So I do want some new candles for 
me to burn throughout the fall season as well as to have throughout the year truly you know i get into a fall mood in like june and just want to light a good fall candle so why not just stock up but i did buy soap from bath and body works because they did have i think like a 50 percent off soap deal um so i bought pumpkin cupcake so this one is more like sugary vanilla it is basically a really sweet scent and then i bought afternoon apple picking and this one is more fruity um but yeah they both smell amazing i actually went with my boyfriend to buy these and he approved of the scents so if you were thinking about getting these they are boyfriend approved so you can go and get them knowing that my boyfriend has approved them um but yeah i am excited again trying to put more festivity and spookiness throughout the whole house so i can do that with soap in the bathroom and now my hands are always going to smell like fall and i'm very happy about that and then the last thing that i got is the thing that i am most excited about well it's like a toss-up between the witch hat and this but you've seen it throughout the whole video and it's this crew neck that i'm wearing i'll get up a bit so you can see it it is a halloween university crew neck and it says established in 1998 and it has the little jack-o-lantern there and this is the cutest freaking sweater ever i'm obsessed with the halloween town series if you guys know the fourth movie although the actress changed marnie the main character goes to halloween town university to study witchcraft and being a witch and this looks just like a normal university sweatshirt, you know, like University of Toronto or whatever with a little emblem, but it's University of Halloween with their little jack-o'-lantern and I'm so excited about it. I got this off of Etsy. It was from a store called Cozy Vibes, Cozy with a K, and they're based in Washington. They have a lot of cute stuff, but I settled for this one and I'm so obsessed. I actually got this just yesterday, perfectly in time for me to film this video and show you guys, so. I'm very excited about it. Yeah, that is everything that I got for fall and for Halloween this year. I'm so excited with all of my finds and I hope you are too. I hope if you guys are decorating your place that you gain some inspiration from this. I will do a little quick overview of the decorations from the previous seasons, but the next video is a fall decorate with me and in that video, I will show you everything that I'm using to decorate and we'll tell you where everything is from as well. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what your favorite thing from this haul was or what you're looking to get for halloween or just what you're most excited about for halloween um make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos in this series i'm so excited i've been working on this for a couple of months now and it's just wild that this video is now up it's october now technically and it's october 1st when i'm posting this which is my birthday and i turn 22 so happy birthday to me um <laughs> i hope you guys again enjoy this video um turn on your post notifications so you get notified as soon as i post a new video in this series and without further ado have a spectacular cozy night and i'll see you in my next video bye